Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. But um, as always, let's jump right into it. So uh, today we're going to do some uh, live trading. Uh, we're going to look for a potential bounce right here at these uh, levels. Um, let's come down. We're playing the 821 DMA. Um, I'm just kind of waiting, being a little patient of what exactly is going on right now. Um, I'm looking for potential trade because we might actually go from blue to red back to uh, blue. And I'm kind of waiting for more of a confirmation. And there's my confirmation. I'm going to get along right here, hopefully. Oh, it might take off without us. Um, <clears throat> hopefully, it'll pull back a little bit. I'm not going to chase it, but uh, just kind of looking. We're making a, a low, a high, a higher low, higher high, higher low, right, higher high. And let's do this. So hopefully we can get a little pullback here. Um, <clears throat> we're just going to be patient. And let's do this because um, I'm watching up here. I don't want to chase it because we do have a resistance we could see right here, right up at this level. So let's see if they could do a quick little pullback. Um, the other side is we might blow through here and look for resistance. So I'm actually going to look for a short um, also at this uh, 34, uh, 34, 47 and a quarter, which is this high right here, right? So this is going to be a potential resistance. So I really don't care if the market goes up or down. I'm just looking for movement in the market. So if we come up here, what I'm looking for is price to kind of come up, hit, and then come back down like this, right? But one of the reasons is I'm trying to front run this big order of three, uh, 399 even. And if we come over here to our book map, we could see this big order right here, okay? Actually, let's pull the other one, uh, this one right here, okay? So we're able to see um, the 47, um, three, 34, 47, 50 resistance here. So what I want to see price do is pop through here, come up, and then reverse and come back down. That's what I'm looking for right now. So uh, you could see it directly on book map. And let's see what price does. And let's get rid of these uh, trend lines. So this, uh, if we do pull back, I still like this uh, 3, 34, 40, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4. 4.75 level. For whatever reason, I'm having troubles with all these uh, fours. So, um, but let's see if a uh, price could blow through this, come up, and then pause and reverse. That's what I'm looking for. Um, if it does, if it doesn't, I'm looking for price to pull back um, right to this uh, 34, 40, 44, 75 level, um, which could also work. So all we got to do is be a little patient, wait for the market to do its thing, and let's pull up book map. And just so you guys know, there is a link uh, down below in the description um, for if you want to try out book map for uh, free. So... And as you can see, I have my orders in uh, here in the uh, book map too. So, and look at this. We came right up to this 344, but we're kind of holding. I actually would love to see it pop up and then go, or if it does pull right back and we have the VWAP, we have multiple things of uh, confluence here, right? This, uh, VWAP here on book map. <clears throat> we also have the uh, DMA line. Okay, uh, so so there are multiple things at these levels that we could be uh, watching. 
<clears throat> and look at that reversal kind of off that first resistance. This is one of the powerful tools with a book map, but uh, let's see if we fail or break out. We have a mini consolidation zone that's either if we break out, we're probably going to go higher or reverse and go lower. So, and look at that, took out the high, came down. So let's see if we could pull back a little bit. And again, this is all in real time, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> the good and the bad. If I lose, I lose. I'll put, hey, it's a, this is more for the learning experience um, to help you guys too, right? <clears throat> so kind of nice little bull flag forming if we look here right we could kind of draw potential little bull flags starting to form but let's see if it breaks out to the upside and what happens so and i will say if we do break out to the upside i will be watching um potentially moving my uh exit and I'm going to keep a really tight uh, leash on this. Um, I'm literally going to do two ticks of risk. All I'm looking for, look at that. We came to the downside. Okay. Came down, bounced off it. Okay, let's see if uh, we could bounce back up. And then maybe get back up into this channel to go up and retest it to get our uh, one point. And now I'm going to manage this trade. 44 uh, even is going to be my stop because I really don't want to see it take out the slow. If it does, I'm okay with it. Again, showing you the good and the bad in real time. I have no clue what's going to happen. But all I could do is manage my risk. And we're kind of coming back up into here. So we'll see what happens. And if we do fail, maybe I should have taken the profits there, but it's uh, it's just part of the trade. So, okay. So we got stopped out. I'm okay with it. Lost three ticks. We're going to cancel this guy over here, um, and we're going to wait, wait for our next potential setup. Okay, let's uh, go look at the one minute, see what's going on with the one minute. Nice divergence right here. Okay, so what this tells me right now is I actually kind of like this. Let me see, probably this 46, 47 level. So 46, uh, 50. So let's do this. I'm going to do two contracts right here, okay, if it comes up. And I'm going to just look for a retest because we do have divergence here, okay. Normally, I don't want to see anything here, but we're just kind of chopping around, so I, uh, we might be able to get that quick little uh, pullback. But I'm going to look for this probably back to the 50 for a couple ticks, right? So enter 45, exit is going to be, if uh, we'll say uh, right on the other side right here. So I'm getting rest three ticks to make two. Um, again, it's just the odds of the trade of looking for this as the resistance level. Okay, and this will be um, essentially my target right here so let's see i want to see price move up here fill us and then come right back down real quick and my stop is just on the other side of this 46.75 which is 47 we shouldn't break through but it should be a smash and grab trade um because remember we're just playing the divergence with the quick little kickback that's all this trade is okay finally get filled come we want to see a quick little pullback and it should have gone down quicker but we'll see we'll see if this guy can hold it again if not
he's holding, we're stopped out, okay? The trade did not work, okay? So, doubled up our contracts, but um, we're only down 10 ticks overall on the grand scheme of it, so we're okay. Um, with that being said, so, let's go back to the 512. Let's erase all this. And this I no longer like uh, just because we already had the pullback, right? It was a deep pullback, kind of run up for a higher move. Now I'm going to be watching probably this, probably these levels right here, this 48 in the corner. I'm going to watch. Um, look at that. You have big contracts coming in, right? So let's do this. I'm going to scale into this guy. And we're just going to power stop right above high of day. Okay. And we're just going to look for uh, scaling. I don't know if we're going to stop at this level. Right here. If we're going to stop here. Or if we're going to stop up here, right? Kind of the 48 and a quarter. Somewhere inside of here we should probably see... What I'm looking for is hopefully price comes up, fills all three, and then reverses. So we will see. Let's see if uh, we could take out this big, big uh, order right here. Let's pull up book map, right? See what happens. We have all the orders just pending right there. And... Probably that should have been the uh, trade <laughs> looking afterwards, right? So, but again, this is just a pure scalping. We're trying to do quick little smash and grab trades, and that's about it. So, let's take a look at the one minute. What's the one minute showing us? Uh, divergence. The kickback really didn't work uh, on this trade. So, um, let's watch for uh, another one potentially, but let's see what happens. Kind of flagging out right here, right? Doing a little flag. We'll see if this breaks out to the upside. Um, and hopefully, again, we're just looking for this and then a pullback like that. So we will see what happens. And again, Showing you the good, the bad. If we lose, we lose. It's not the end of the world. Um, we manage our risk. That's the number one thing is always, always manage your risk uh, when you're uh, trading. Um, just because uh, you never know uh, what the market's going to do. And what I've realized uh, over my 18 years of trading is preserving capital. It's the number one rule. Yeah, you got to take risk. You have to... Some say, hey, is this going to work? Okay, not every trade's going to win, and you have to accept your losses. Um, and by man, by having my stop losses at the most relevant places, that's all I'm doing. I'm trying to have the best odds of opportunity and chances of making money. So, um, But also, I don't want to get into a death spiral where I keep adding or uh, remove my stops and sit there and say, oh no, the market's going to come back or whatever. The, um, I've done that before. It never works. And all you end up doing is using emotional capital. So just be careful with that. Nice little bull flag. Again, we're just looking for a breakout and then a pullback of that bull flag um, into high of day. Okay. That's all I'm pretty much looking for. Um, I'm not trying to predict um, huge moves. I'm just trying to predict very small moves. So let's see what happens. Again, I want to see this guy get absorbed and then all these guys kind of get these and then do the quick little pullback. So we will see uh, what happens. And look at this. They keep coming after this big order. They're going to blow right through it. 
but I will be quick to manage my targets if I need to, if I see the market kind of do something. So look at that. Start to gobble up those big orders, right? Wow, look at that. Big orders coming back in, but we're going to be disciplined, be patient, and wait for the uh, trade. And sometimes uh, these trades take a while, so got to be patient and think of it as uh, we're, we're like snakes, right? We're waiting for our prey to make the wrong decision, so... multiple highs right um if anybody if you watch any of my other videos keep on knocking right keep touching the same support or a resistance level or support usually you'll you'll be let in right and that's what is happening right here with all this so wow look at this potential uh failure right here right price is trying but we will see what happens but again, bigger picture, we're still in, now we can kind of redraw this bull flag, right? And just say, this is more potentially what the uh, flag looks like. Maybe uh, more of a megaphone, right? Interesting. So let's see what happens. Do a little more analysis and look at this. So, so our original 34, 47, 50 was probably the correct trade to do, right? Or 34 uh, and a quarter that we had from earlier. So, um, well, looks like this thing's going to fail. Kind of head back down. So, um, I'm going to post this. Again, this is more just educational. Um, see the good and the bad trades. And, um, again, it's not the end of the world. Ten ticks. You can make it back very uh, quickly. Not a problem. Um, and some days uh, are your days. Others aren't. Some uh, some trades you kill it. And others you don't. So um, that's part of trading. But uh, I hope this has been really helpful uh, on the educational side for you guys. Um, and as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.